always liked space. Eh? I, I, I loved watching Star Trek and Star Wars and all those movies. Yeah, the discovering new worlds. Eh? To go where no one has gone before. My father had his dental office at the second floor. We lived at the first floor and our bedrooms were at the third floor. So in order to go to sleep, I had to run in pyjama and then sometimes I crossed the patients. But we, uh, I literally grew up in a dental practice. So uh, for me, there never has been any doubt. I wanted to be a dentist and, and I became one. My first implants I placed when I was 27, like that. That really was a nervous moment because I was doing something that most colleagues didn't do. And I was still quite young, I didn't have a lot of experience. Here you see the nerve coming out of the bone. And if we go backward, then you see another implant we placed months ago. So we must place another one, but we can't touch the, um, the nerve. So we will be choosing an implant of some 10 millimeters. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, yeah. it's very good. Yeah. Technology definitely helps the dentist in its work. Yeah. Why? Because it's through that technology that we can give more predictable results. No. Let's say the, the dental lab, the way it was before, um, some 20, 30 years ago, a dental technician was like an alchemist, uh, melding metals and building up ceramics. And if you see a dental technician now, it's um, a software engineer practically. I think Holo Medicine offers a lot of new possibilities. And I think as a professional, we must think out of the box. And of course, we can work in the way we worked with our traditional 2D screens, but we must again use our intellect, use, combine it with the technology that is available and then just be creative to see where we can arrive using that new technology. We dentists, we must not only see the dental health, but we must see the, the mouth as a chewing device and that creates our facial harmony. A lot of problems like headaches, jaw problems, neck problems, they can be related to an, a position of the jaw. We must search for, for those problems and not wait until the, the patient comes to us telling it, it because they won't tell it. We have to ask it. Mag ik even zo bellen met die een Hollands? Dus wat dat zijn er toepassingen bijvoorbeeld dat er in een zone in Afrika waar er geen dokters zijn, er een iemand een 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 appendicitis moet opereren of die moet een een tracheotomie doen en die moet hem aansen, dat die hulp kan krijgen van iemand van ver weg met die een Hollands en dat die kan zien wat er aan het gebeuren is gewoon. So the, uh, the surgery went, uh, went really uh, right. This was a quite delicate surgery. We had about seven, eight millimeters of bone to place the implant. And we had a security uh, distance from two millimeter, not touching the mandibular nerve that could cause um, numbness of the lower lip for the rest of her life, so the surgery is really delicate. 
year ago now I started uh, a project with the um, European Space Agency. I created, it's called a topical team and it's like a research opportunity, a first step contact with ESA to help them reaching a particular goal and later on that gives opportunities to do more things, more collaboration with them. You can, as a dentist, you can work very, very good without the hololens. But I think we should progress in, in hololens will be a part of that, that advance, so I want to be part of it. But I don't see it as something that I'm just using now because it's new, because it has a marketing value. No, I think it, it has a future. I think some people must start it and must pr promote it and I want to do my bits in, in dentistry.